All right, everybody, welcome back to another episode of Ben James TV, man. I got a special guest with us today, a personal friend, uh, a very good person at heart, a good artist, somebody I know personally that heating up right now, man. You got to lock in with them. I'm going to let them introduce themselves to it. Tootie P. That's right, that's right. Tootie P in the building, everybody, holding it down for BMT, representing the underworld. underworld. If you don't know, nah, you're going you, you to know for sure. <laughs> So I'm going to just kick it out real quick with a few questions for you. Uh, for the people who don't know, what side of town are you from? Uh, you know, what, what side you represent? I was born in, you know, South End, then I moved to the Avenue. So, you know, South End born, Avenue's paid. You feel me? South Side, but, you know. Yes, sir. For <laughs> sure, for sure. And uh, how long have you been making music? For a long time, you know. I started on the drums, learned how to play guitar, started rapping. I've been rapping a while. But just taking it serious, like this year, for real. Who would you say is your biggest influences in music? Like, who made you really want to like lock in and start rapping and stuff? Yeah, Lil Wayne. Uh, let me see. I say Jasmine Sullivan, Lauren Hill. You know what I'm saying? Tupac. I forgot Tupac, Tupac man. Right. That, yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, that's some good examples right there for sure. Let's get into your recent EP, Turn Me Up Tootie, man. It was a masterpiece. I fucked with it. It caught me by surprise. You didn't even do much promo for it. You just dropped it out of nowhere. And I'm like, damn, the homie ain't even letting me know she was been a job with Project. You've been promoting some of your songs. I'm like, damn, when the mud's going to drop? Yeah, uh, and everybody, I'm just like, everybody was gonna, yeah, so can, gonna drop. yeah, for sure. Can you uh, tell me uh, a little bit about like what was the inspiration behind it? Man, you know. We got this, the night boys, you know, part of Underworld, you feel me? We go out, we be going, you know, we do shows. I know we done did a hundred shows this year, bro. And like, nigga, everywhere we go, we turn it up. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Absolutely. They don't know us. It could be their first time seeing it, they still gonna turn up with us. Yeah. Cause our energy, bro, like my energy turn people up, bro. Turn me up too. Yeah, like, you know? For like, sure, for sure. <laughs> Okay, another thing I want to mention, the production on the project was, was crazy, man. There was a lot of good producers on there, some locals, guys that I know. Uh, we got Keith, we got Dead Raven, D-Hop, and myself. I'm going to sneak myself in there. I got a joint on there. Y'all check that out, man. But, uh, just tell me a little bit about, you know, your production, your producers, man. How you feel about everything? Just Man, you know, it's the producers, some people, you know, I've been, I've been known forever, you know what I'm saying? They make beats and I rap, you know. One of us going to blow. For you sure. know what I'm saying? Keep it in the family, you feel me? And I've been fucking with these niggas for the longest, you feel me? You okay, know, very so. CEO. Absolutely. You feel me? Like, yeah, I know. I know what it is. Yeah, yeah, for <laughs> sure, for sure. I fuck with it. Appreciate that. One song I want to get into, particularly from the project, from the EP, is uh, You and Them Boots, featuring GQ Judo. Yeah. Let's talk about that, man. Like, how, what was the inspiration behind that shit? Man, we from the Southeast, man, Southeast Texas, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love Zydeco. That's Absolutely. one of my favorite genres of uh, uh, music, my bad. Yeah, I love yeah. that shit. And I love twerk, you know, bounce. You know what I'm saying? I like bounce music, bro. Like, I love that shit. Like, I combine that shit and fuck it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, and I said, man, this going to be the one on God. Yeah, that, that shit was crazy. Like, I, it really touched <laughs> me because I was like, damn, call me by surprise. I'm like, she got a Zydeco song here? Yeah, you really yeah. stepping out your, stepping out the box. Like, yeah, yeah. I've been knowing you for a while. You've been doing music a particular way, but ever since you know you start fucking with the underworld and getting in there, you've been evolving and just keep that shit up. That's the sky's the limit for real. Like you, you really going up. So, uh, another thing I want to talk about: you only had two featuring artists on the project, uh, GQ, Judo, and uh, Live E. Can you uh, elaborate? You know, tell me a little bit more about them guys. It seemed like they kind of popped up out of nowhere. Y'all was hanging out. Y'all tight. All yeah, your, most hey. of your songs was reaching them. So can you like tell me about the chemistry or how y'all kind of? <laughs> uh, one second, you uh, you told me y'all call yourself the Night Boys. Night Boys. See, I didn't know that. See, that's why I'm glad I'm asking you. Night so Night Boys, Night Boys dropping. So I, not, hey, I can't say when, so, but Night Boys dropping. For sure, too. I'm definitely gonna be looking <laughs> forward to that shit for sure. So just can you elaborate a little bit more about that? I right, so I trained. I met Judo at work. I yeah. trained him. Okay. I start talking, to, you know, I push it underwear everywhere I go. Yeah. Even at work, I don't care. I'm talking to him about the music, you feel me? I start letting him hear my music. I start let, he start letting me hear some of his stuff. You know what I'm saying? Then, shit, for my birthday, I had a show in, in the H, and he was there. They performed, he performed, he performed, you know what I'm saying? 
And then, like, at work, we just start getting close, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Hanging out and stuff outside of work. And then me and Judo, we did our that, our first single, Land, that, that's going to be on his EP. Yeah. You feel me? Right. That Land on me. That shit out on YouTube right now. Okay, okay. But, yeah. But, yeah, that's just, like, and then we start hanging out every night, you know what I'm saying? Like, every night we write music, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? We going to shows, you know what I'm saying? And all this, like, hey, you know, we... Created a brotherhood, yeah, bro. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? That's my brothers, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, we be getting this out the mud. You feel yeah. me? For real. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Busting down plates. You feel me? Niggas yeah. don't know about that. The backside of rapping, bro. Yeah. On me, nigga. Absolutely. Like, niggas don't know. But yeah. And then Judo, he was with Live V. They dropped the tape Mud Brothers okay. before, you know what I'm saying? Before I even met them. They had that tape Mud Brothers. So they've been, they been knowing each other. Okay. And I started. Messing with Live V, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Me and him got, got cool. Okay. And he just, you know, we just start, hey, yeah, this beat, finding beats. We be out here sitting outside my house. Yeah. Till 4, 5 in the morning writing songs on yeah. me, I'm telling Absolutely. you. Like, on me, it's like, hey. Okay, okay. Music, okay, that sounds, hey, man, that sounds good. That was very informative. I ain't, <laughs> ain't know all that. See, that's the, <laughs> the shit people be wanting to know. That's an inside. That's exclusive right there. <laughs> all right. All right, uh, so overall, how is being part of Underworld, is, like, how has it impacted your sound and style of music and just as your style as an artist overall, how has it, like, developed you or, like, if any, you know? Yeah, man, like, I, Bird, you know, he the CEO, he gave, he gave me the blueprint, bro, yeah. and that's what I did. He gave me the blueprint, and I followed it, and they had the proof in the pudding. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Absolutely. That's all I'm gonna say. He gave me the, he gave me the blueprint. I followed it, and the proof in the pudding, bro. Hey, no doubt, absolutely. You know Hey, that's hey, that's well put, man. So look, we gonna switch gears real quick. I'm gonna get into just some regular fun old questions, uh, just some stuff maybe you know some of the the fans want to know, your supporters want to know, just some regular stuff, just off topic of music. Uh, when you want something to eat that's real good, like it's just like man, you hungry, you just want something real good, like what would be your go to meal? It can be anything homemade or it can be anything from a restaurant, just like go to man. What, what I want, oh go yeah go to, but I want like every day. Like roast, sm this roast man, smothered roast with yeah. rice and gravy. And yeah, the, with the yams, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Type like shit. asparagus. Yeah, that's my that's my favorite meal, roast. I ain't right. gonna lie. All right, all right. Like beef, really. I guess you can call it beef. Beef. Yeah. That's my favorite. You know what I'm saying? Like. Okay. Yeah. 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 Hey man, roast <laughs> do go hard, man. For real. For real. <laughs> all right. Next one. How would you describe your fashion sense, like? You know, your drip, you got it on. You always got it on, man, for real. Like, how would you describe it? Hey, all black, yeah, something with black in it. Like, you know, and I love shoes, sneakers, you know what I'm saying? We got the got the dead ravens, you know what I'm saying? Y'all go cop some of them, I'm good. Oh, absolutely. The under, under, underworld shoe, we got a shoe, you feel me? Y'all fuck with it, like, you know, it's just, this shit easy, bro. I go to the store and get a black tee. Yeah. With some leather, leather, black leather, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, that's a fit to me. Yeah. With the accessories, the gold, you know. Yeah. You got, you know. Hey, accessories matter, for real. That's going to give it that extra pop, yeah. for sure. Like, yeah, I don't really be doing too much, but I make it look good, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can make it look, look like a lot. Absolutely. You know, it, it's what's in you, yeah. not what's on you. Yeah, man. absolutely. I fuck with it. I fuck with it. Next question, next question. Uh, What type of women you like? <laughs> I ain't trying to get you in trouble now. Like I don't know, I don't know your relationship status. You don't gotta confirm or deny. It. Just yeah, yeah, you know, if you, if you, you like, just keep. I like, I like, man. I like, I like all women. Yeah. But nah, not you know what I'm saying. Like all women need love. You know what I'm saying. Two yeah. P might have a little for you. I don't know. But my 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 my. Preference, you know what I'm saying? I like the that slim thick, you know what I'm saying, yellow, you know what I'm saying? I like chocolates too, yellow or chocolate, you feel me? Or a little little red, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying, with some smooth ass skin. And the bitches that go to the doctor. I like them. That's the real <laughs> that's the real shit right there. That's the most attractive thing you can do. Yeah. Go, you know what I'm saying? Get that little <laughs> chick, you hear me? You know <laughs> Okay, we say that. <laughs> You speaking your truth, for real, for real, hey. 
Hey, where is your uh, favorite place to visit and why? Uh, let me see. Favorite place to visit. I ain't gonna lie. South by Southwest. I guess yeah. that'd be Austin, bro. Like, yeah. yeah, I look forward to that every year. Oh God, South by Southwest, like. Yeah. All right, all right. The second, this one, it's kind of like a two part from from that last one. Hey, you got any places you that you haven't been that you looking forward to going to someday? Yeah, Cali. Yeah. Well, I have been to Cali, but it was on some school shit. But like to actually experience that shit, yeah. Cali, San Francisco, with the lesbos. It. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, damn. I already know that shit, but it, I wasn't expecting you to say that. But yeah, for sure, Cali, nice. I went in high school as well, but. <laughs> For the video tech trip and shit, oh, yeah, yeah, that shit was cool. Yeah. We couldn't get too loose though. We was we was minors, kind of. Oh, you know what I'm saying? So, school yeah. shit. All right. Uh, what was your, what would you say is your dream car? Man, I don't know if y'all. I I just seen this whole tour about three months ago. Yeah. With them 2025 Hondas. Mm. If you ain't seen them hoes, man, hey, that's gonna be my first wheel for I car. 2025 Honda. Yeah, I think I seen some pictures yeah, of them. I, I ain't know if they was legit or not, yeah, so I'm gonna have to do some more research. Yeah, right. yeah. Like a Batmobile. yeah, I damn near have seen them. That's like, hey, that's kind of, that's kind of ironic, you know. Your dream car being a Honda, but ain't that? <laughs> yeah. I'm a Honda guy myself hey, for sure. You know I grew saying? up in the, the Fast and Furious area when they were driving <laughs> that shit, tricking them hoes out. So they gonna last you a long time too. So shit, fuck it. Last and final question. What can we expect from you for the rest of 2024 and the upcoming 2025? Like, you know, from you in the underworld or, you know, any any insiders or any, just just overall, what can we expect? All right, we got uh, Night Boys dropping. Yeah. All right, Goat dropping. Goat versus Gotti, too. Shout out my boy Goat. You know what I'm sure. saying? Uh, let's see, I think I think Jen dropping. I'm not sure. Yeah. You know what I'm sure. saying? Shout I know out Stacks. Jen Hype. Yeah, shout out Jen. You know, we got Night Boys coming. Yeah. You know what I'm, I'm saying? I'm ready for that, for yeah, sure. For shit, boys, so I, yeah. I fuck with the vibe. I fuck with the vibe. <laughs> that's that 3 a.m. in the studio. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's, yeah. Yeah, that's that type of shit, you yeah. feel me? For but sure. yeah, we got, yeah, we got some shit coming. You know, I think we about to throw an event. Y'all gonna see the flowers for that later on, you know? I'm looking forward to hearing all the new music you got dropping. Yeah. Keep up the good work. For Keep sure. putting it in, man. Keep God first. Everything, man. For me, for you sure. heating up. Yeah, I keep God first, man. For sure. And we gonna be back. Mm-hmm. Ben James TV signing out, man. Two D P, we out. Turn me up. <laughs> Turn me up, Two D, for sure. Yeah. Check it out. Shorty got that ass on her, she cut you fine. Throw it, throw it, throw it. Let me see it from behind. Shorty wanna roll with me, know we going up. All these hoes on me, don't know who I wanna fuck. You gotta be booty, can you throw it in them boots? Got a big booty, can you throw it in them boots? Got a big booty, can you throw it in them boots? Got a big.